Now, the connectors I've got for this project are just some banana connectors and a BNC connector. First up, uh, drilling some holes for those banana connectors. And now let's start making the box. We've got the drilled out metal box, aluminium box, the banana connectors, the BNC. Now, the internal is this binocular uh, ferrite. Now, a recommended uh, one was Type 73. Now, I don't know what type this is because a local electronic store doesn't actually label it. And then the wire that I'm using is uh, from that same store and it's 28 gauge wire. Now, one thing that I did was measure out before the exact measurements. So we need two windings on one side and six windings on the other side to make 50 ohms for our coax side. So I would cut two pieces of wire, one 18 centimetres and the other one 36 centimetres for the six windings. That's on this uh, particular uh, size of, uh, of uh, ballon or, or binocular uh, ferrite as it's called. So with the winding, doesn't have to be super tight. The main thing is not to cut into that enamel that's on the wire. This particular enamel is quite strong, so it isn't really that much of a, an issue. Make it tight, but not overly tight. And the key is to bring uh, two windings on this one side, like that, and then grab the uh, longer piece. This one, as I said, was 36 centimetres long and wind the opposite way through that uh, binocular uh, ferrite there. Now scraping off the enamel on this particular wire was actually quite hard on some of the larger coil wire that I've used before. It was too easy to uh, to come off and actually came off a ballon that I was making. This one, I used sandpaper and also a knife to actually scrape it off. Tested it on the multimeter to make sure that there was a, not a short between both sides and uh, came out fine. So that's, uh, that was good to know. So this should actually short on each end, but not short across the opposite sides of the ballon. The transformer in place. Now, one of the things I did have a problem with, and I'll explain it now, is I was actually shorting out the uh, two banana connectors at the end where the antenna goes. And what it was was the case was actually connecting to the banana connector so it actually made all connections connected together from both sides so what I had to do was drill out the uh, banana connectors a bit more and there is actually a spacer that goes down the hole a little bit it would have not been nicer if it went down the hole a little bit more I also put some uh, rubber grommets on the end and that uh, actually then uh, isolated those uh, banana connectors. Now, just to recap, it's six windings on the antenna side and two windings that goes to the coax side. I've used a BNC in this case. Strung the wire around the garden and placed the uh, ballon just near the edge of the shack. Now this is a marine safety channel. This is using the vertical antenna. At 0105 hours, UTC, the 18th of May 2021. Gale warning for southern area situation at 0, 0, And this is using the ground wire. Low nine five one. 
Thank you for watching and I hope this helps somebody who's deciding to put out a ground antenna there to try and reduce some local noise like I did.